Hey guys, uh, just here today to talk about classical conditioning. Uh, classical conditioning is a super important concept that tends to come up quite a bit on Saxon exams. Uh, basically, I like to break it down into three key steps. Uh, before conditioning, we have an unconditioned stimulus which produces an unconditioned response. Uh, during conditioning, we then have the unconditioned stimulus being paired with a neutral stimulus which still produces an unconditioned response. After conditioning, the neutral stimulus becomes a conditioned stimulus, which produces a conditioned response. So basically, our overall process looks like this. And this will happen with every single classical conditioning scenario. So just a couple of key points. Firstly, the neutral stimulus is always the same object as the conditioned stimulus. Secondly, the unconditioned response is always the same response as the conditioned response, just simply to a different object. Uh, so, for example, in Pavlov's experiment, uh, the unconditioned response was salivation to the food, whereas the conditioned response was salivation to the bell. Hopefully this helps you with classical conditioning a bit, and make sure to check out my other tips as well. Yeah.